Okay, two ways to record your screen in Chrome OS. First of all, let's use the inbuilt functionality. Click down in the bottom right by the clock and click on to screen capture that you see here. Now, by default, you might be selected over here on the camera. That's just to take a screenshot. If you want to record, switch over to the video camera and you can choose between full screen, partial screen where you can drag over a set area to record or a dedicated window. And if you click on the cog, you can turn the mic on or off. I'm going to record like this with a full screen, so I just click anywhere as it suggests up here and it's going to start a countdown timer and then I'm going to be recording. So let's just open the Chrome browser, testing, recording, and then when it comes time to stop your recording, come down again to the left of the clock, you'll see the red stop button here, just click onto that and it's going to stop your recording. Straight away it's going to tell you that it's been saved in your files. Uh, you can click onto that, opens up your downloads and there's your video uh, saved as a .webm. And if I double click should be able to open that up and play it back. So I'm just going to hit play and you'll just see the rather boring video I made there where I just typed in testing recording and there we go, it's playing back. So that's method number one. Method number two is to get a dedicated app. So here's one I recommend. So open the Play Store and search for Screen Recorder Safe Partner. Safe Partner's the developer. It's this recording app just here that you see. So look for the same icon, look for the same publisher. Uh, click into that one. Here's what you should see now. I think like a lot of apps on the store, this gets mixed uh, reviews. Not a particularly great score here, but I've always found this app pretty decent. So if I just show it to you now, if we go ahead and open it up, so you'll see previous recordings that you've made in here. You'll have a settings option up by the spanner in the top right hand corner. And you'll see there's a few things you can get better control over here. So the orientation, landscape or portrait, uh, the bitrate, the resolution, your frames per second. Um, you can see a few other things in here that you can customize that just make it a bit more uh, configurable, a bit more usable. So a lot of nice options. When it comes to actually recording, so uh, you've got an icon here on the left to record with sound from the microphone. I never tend to bother to use that. I don't find it brilliant. Uh, but what I do do is just hit this record button on the right that just records the screen. So again, if we hit that, we will get a message first of all telling us the orientation that you're recording in. So landscape is fine. And then it's gonna ask you which window you want to record. If you click in the most outer window, it will offer to share all of your screen. And you can just tell it to share that. And then it's gonna give you the countdown. Clear my screen of what I've got here. You will get this pop-up to start with. So I would just close that and then start with whatever you want to do. So again, let's just go in here, testing recording again and then when it comes to stopping recording you've got a couple of options so one you can click back into the app and you can hit the stop button here or if you click down by the clock again and you'll see it running up here you can also click the stop just here so i'll go ahead and do that and then it's completed my video and you can see it straight away in in the app here if i click onto it i can choose to view it in chrome uh, so let's open it up there and there you can see the video playing back. Obviously you'll want to trim this first bit where I was closing the warning that popped up but you can do that in your editor afterwards and in fact you can even edit it in the app here afterwards but yeah there's the recording. Um, when it comes to actually saving that as a file what you can do, um, I don't want to rate it just yet, uh, is click on the three dots next to your recording and just say share and then share it to files, which is um, basically saving it to your files. So if I save it here, and you can even give it a dedicated um, new file name if you want, and you'll see it defaults to save it as an MP4 this time. So you may just find that's a bit more practical with different editors that you're using. So there we go, two options for recording in Chrome OS. Hope it's useful. Please do give a like if so, and do consider a subscribe. Cheers.